We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. November 5th, the quality of faith. This has to do with the quality of faith. In no deep or meaningful sense had we ever taken stock of ourselves. We had not even prayed rightly. We had always said, Grant me my wishes, instead of, Thy will be done. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 32. God does not grant me material possessions, take away my suffering, or spare me from disasters, but He does give me a good life, the ability to cope, and peace of mind. My prayers are simple. First, they express my gratitude for the good things in my life, regardless of how hard I have to search for them. And second, I ask only for the strength and the wisdom to do His will. He answers with solutions to my problems, sustaining my ability to live through daily frustrations with a serenity I did not believe existed, and with the strength to practice the principles of AA in all my everyday affairs. We tried faith when we were drinking and found it wanting because we didn't get what we demanded. We were playing God when we prayed that way. Admitting we are powerless and that there is a power greater than us, we realize we had the cart before the horse. Who are we to tell God what is best for us? Our higher power when drinking was a childish Santa Claus where we made our list of demands and when it wasn't fulfilled to our specification, we swept the God idea to the sidelines, only to try and negotiate with him when we found ourselves in another trick bag. That wasn't faith at all. That was self-will run riot. It didn't work. Of course it didn't. Once we became willing, and then coming to believe a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity, we were on our way to recovery. It is a beginning, a start into a new world of happiness we could not have imagined. The love of God and man we understood not at all. Therefore, we remained self-deceived, and so incapable of receiving enough grace to restore us to sanity. True humility and an open mind can lead us to faith. And every AA meeting is an assurance that God will restore us to sanity if we rightly relate ourselves to Him. Our alcoholism deluded us to think others were the problem until the reality blinded us and God entered our lives at last. Understanding finally we were not just people who drank too much, but were real alcoholics, was a necessary step to getting sober. We admitted we could not stop and came to believe that those who came to Alcoholics Anonymous before us found the solution in a higher power. By living the 12 steps provided the runway for us to stick around the program for another day and then another day until we did required suggestions and found a God of our own understanding. They say, if you don't have a God when you come into AA, don't worry, one will be provided when you stay long enough. Our higher power provides challenges which are really opportunities for us to express our faith when we handle those situations which used to baffle us. It is remarkable how our days are more hassle-free when we put our higher power in charge and align our will with His. Love and tolerance is our code. We are less irritable to life's little irritations. Let go and let God is our motto. November 5th, the quality of faith. This has to do with the quality of faith. In no deep or meaningful sense had we ever taken stock of ourselves. We had not even prayed rightly. We had always said, Grant me my wishes, instead of, Thy will be done. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 32. God does not grant me material possessions, take away my suffering, or spare me from disasters, but He does give me a good life, the ability to cope, and peace of mind. My prayers are simple. First, they express my gratitude for the good things in my life, regardless of how hard I have to search for them. And second, 
I ask only for the strength and the wisdom to do His will. He answers with solutions to my problems, sustaining my ability to live through daily frustrations with a serenity I did not believe existed, and with the strength to practice the principles of AA in all my everyday affairs. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.